This is a demonstration video for the 3D skeletal animation system for GameMaker Studio. In this demo I'll be covering some of the features of the plugin and what you can do with it, how you can customize it and what you need to do in order to set up a model and use it within the system. In this demo there is this animating Mario model currently performing its idle looping animation. If I press enter he will transition smoothly into a running animation. The system works on a skeletal keyframe basis in which snapshots of the skeleton in certain positions are stored inside a data structure and accessed and interpolated between. Each bone transformation is represented by an offset matrix and the system correctly calculates the in-between matrix that is used to smoothly animate. The GPU performs skinning through a vertex shader which is used to smooth the vertex transformations. The system supports up to four influences per vertex, which means a single vertex can be influenced by four different bones inside your animation at any one time. This uses a custom vertex format, however it is very easy to integrate the shader into any other existing shader by simply changing the vertex shader and so on. The fragment shader is completely unchanged by this, only the source vertex position is changed. The other things you can do with this demo is modify the animations directly yourself. These two models here are a demonstration of how you can add your own transformations to joints after they have been animated. This means that you can make an animating instance, look towards the player, tilt its back, or alter its overall body position depending on the situation. An example of this would be aiming a gun at a point. In this demo we have a Mario model facing the camera. As you can see the body is still animating and our custom offset simply acts as an extra offset rotation slash translation on top of that base. The format used for animating is the Misfit Model 3D format. We chose to use this format because the importer is relatively straightforward and allows us to create a system which is adaptable and extendable to other formats. Currently our system only supports the Misfit Model 3D importer, however the internal data structure is set up in such a way where multiple different file type importers could like funnel data down into the same format. Meaning that in the future there are possibilities for a blender or FBX importer so long as you can extract the raw skeleton keyframe data and any other properties. This also supports multiple groups so this Mario model is comprised of three independent groups each of which gets rendered with skinning and its own unique texture. This is useful for combination with other shaders as it allows you to independently control the rendering of each section of the model, allowing you to apply different textures and so on. But now I want to demonstrate the Mr. Model 3D format. So this here is the Mario format. And um, as you can see in this, it is simply importing these three animations as you can see in the editor itself. If I wanted to modify this animation, for example, if I were to grab the keyframe at a specific position, like here for example, and stretch the leg out, then I'll make this really exaggerated just so you can see the difference. So I was to transition that frame to that, save this, and rerun the game you'll be able to see that the animation has in fact changed and it is that easy to create your own animations and modify these. So as you can see, even though it's a little bit twitchy, his leg has in fact changed to that new animation. So if I just undo all my changes, resave that, go back in, load again, you'll be able to see that the system has changed. As for the source code itself, the setup is very easy. All you have to do is call SEMM3D in it that will set up a number of data structures. Um, this is currently for the MM3D importer. Um, the import function will then load this data into that global data structure and then perform a finish function which loads the data into our own internal skeleton format. Uh, that's the part which is independent of the file. So you could create multiple importers that funnel data down to the same format. In this case, you can set the flags as to whether an animation 
loops or not. Um, so in this case, the stand and run animation are both looping animations, whereas the jump animation is not. Um, then if we go inside the actual example object, when it is drawn, you can simply call uh, the skinned draw function, and what this will do is simply draw the model and also um, ensure that the uh, skinning is set. Uh, the skinning works through a very simple vertex shader which you can apply and pass in an array of bone matrices. This can be modified in any way you want after the system has dealt with it. For example, you can, as I said before, get a face-to-face -face the camera or do whatever you want. In our demo, the system is controlled by this file here and each of the marrows does something independent. So um, we've got one marrow which just animates normally, however with these two we've actually modified the offset here by applying our own custom rotations and what this one does is simply make him face the camera with a bit of simple maths. The system's set up in such a way where you simply just have to pass in an X, Y or Z rotation using these functions and then you get to go.